Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to change oil on Toyota Lexus vehicles with 3.5 engine, including Sienna, Camry, Highlander, Venza, a Lexus ES350, a RX350, all Lexus and Toyota vehicles with 3.5 engine. So, in my case, it's a Lexus ES350 2011. All of the cars from 2007 or 2006 have the same engine, that is 3.5. The difference is outside and how much plastic they put around the engine bay. Internals and underneath, all the engines look the same. So what you're going to need to change the oil in your vehicle with 3.5 engine? You're going to need uh, a, uh, a tool to remove filter housing, to remove the filter. So it's the same housing that has been used on... 8 cylinder Toyota or Lexus vehicles. And you're gonna need a washer. You can pick it up from Lexus or Toyota dealership. You're gonna need a socket size 14, extension, ratchet. You're gonna need an oil filter. I'm using M soil oil filter. Why I'm using M soil filter? Well, there is no not there is no better one. The only company can claim or can guarantee you. 15,000 mile change interval with their synthetic signature series motor oil. So, in addition to using their uh, high quality oil filter and oil, I'm going to be able to extend my drain interval from 5,000 to up to 15,000 or once a year, whichever comes first, instead of changing motor oil two times a year which is cost more, first of all, you gotta buy oil twice, you gotta buy oil filter twice, you gotta spend your time twice, and regular oil does not provide the same protection as synthetic oil. There is no better oil, I believe, than M-Soil synthetic oil. I'm gonna have a link down below where you can buy, and if you do buy oil, there is going to be a, a number, dealership number, that you can save when you sign up. Sign up for six months, make your purchases, and this is the reason why. This is the only company can guarantee you up to 25,000 miles or one year intervals. You can change the oil and keeps your engine protected. Because there's another competitor, not even competitor, they tried, they claimed that their, their oil has been used by NASCAR, uh, race drivers in their cars, they try running their oil for 25,000 miles in their oil, or, or not oil, their oil in the engine for 25,000 miles and it failed. And this is the only company that's still around that has the oil that you can run for 25,000. So let me show you how to change your oil. Let's get underneath the vehicle. And as you can see, this is a Lexus. Uh, the difference is just the outside body and engine bay, the plastic, how much they put in. Sienna, Benza, Highlander, Camry, they all have same engines, and Lexus ES350 and RX350. And I might have missed some other cars that Toyota makes with 3.5 engines, but it doesn't matter. They're all the same engines, same filter number. And by the way, uh, the filter number for, um, for M-Soil, this is the filter number, EA15K02. So, let's get underneath. So now I am underneath the vehicle, and the first thing what I usually what I usually like to do is, and don't forget you need an oil pan, is to open up this cap to start draining the oil from a filter housing before I drain the oil from the engine. That's what I like to do first. Super tight, not sure why. It doesn't have to be this tight because there is a gasket there. As you can see, oil is start dripping because there is a valve. So now to get the valve oil going, you're gonna need either one that you buy that comes with Toyota, cheap plastic, and good luck trying to break it loose. It's very difficult. Or, I want to show you up close. You see the difference? It has the threads. You can actually thread it in, 
or you can suffer using the other part to break it loose. So let me show you how easy that is. You have to push a little bit, slightly. Right there, you see? That's how simple, you know what I mean? I wish the Yoda could have done the same thing with their tool, put the threads instead of having those plastic stuff that... Now I'm draining the oil. That's what I like to do first. Once oil is drained, while the oil is draining from the filter housing, I'm gonna break it loose. Drain plug. Start draining the oil from uh, from the engine. Don't forget to replace your drain plug washer. While the oil is still draining, I'm gonna remove filter housing. Make sure there is grooves on the filter housing and there is notches or things that stick out make sure make sure it slides in before you start removing it so I'm using a size I'm using size 27 socket because if I'm gonna use the ratchet inside there with extension and if it's super tight there is a chance I can break this filter wrench since everything seems to be extremely super tight What I'm trying to do is to break the filter housing off. Perfect. So it's now loose. It's still draining, so I'll wait. So right there. As you can see, since I drain the oil, otherwise if you don't drain oil from this port here, if you don't drain the oil from here, then when you remove the filter, it's going to be all over. It's going to be spilling, running, and as you can see, it's all nice, clean, and nothing spilling and all spilling over. Uh, let me show you a little bit more about the, about the filter wrench, because I don't have a good camera to show you guys what you want to see. So I'll show you, this is what I mean. There is those notch here, there is that right there. And make sure it's all slides. Because if you don't, you can, uh, you know, you can break, the, break this part, you can break the filter. And the other side, same thing. Since this fill, this uh, fits both six cylinder and eight cylinder Toyota vehicles. So now I'm gonna show you how to Put the filter back, replace those O-rings, and what's the next step? So, remove the filter itself. As far as I can tell, this is a genuine Toyota filter. It's cheap, and there is some oil. I'm going to dump it, because so I dumped all the oil out. And before I do anything else, before I go any further, I'm going to clean it up. Wipe it, some of this oil off. Makes it easier to work with when it's all clean and So now I'm going to put m soil O-rings that came with the filter. I'm 
they're different color than factory they're uh, as you can see bright orange what I'm gonna do is use some oil I'm gonna use of course the oil that I'm gonna put inside the vehicle lubricate it why why lubricate well so it so it seals it better and what I'm actually gonna do is just actually dip my finger put in a cap lubricate the o-ring in the oil put it there wow what a perfect fit I don't have to jam it like a factory one sometimes you just have to it doesn't want to go in and so that's that that's that o-ring I'm gonna clean up the cap, put the cap on. As you can see this like a bolt, there's so much goo in it, dirt. Right there. It's clean. And now I'll put it back. I'm not gonna it's gonna be just a hand tight because when I put it on the car, then I'll tie it, make it tighter using the ratchet. So now inspect the inside. There is some there is some dirt on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see or not, right there are little specks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean that up. Because any dirt inside will end up in your engine. Okay, that is clean. Next, this big o ring. Remove it. Same thing. I'm going to be using M soil lowering. As you can see, where the o ring goes there. It's actually very easy to put it on. Make sure you put a right spot, not above or below. Make sure you put a right spot. You see where? That's where it should be. So. And of course, don't forget to lube it. Dip a finger in the oil, put some oil in the cap, and just lubricate it. Because if you don't, it's gonna be very, very difficult to put it on. Any excess oil will be wiped out, wiped it, wiped it clean with a rag. So that's this part here. It's, it's done. Next part. This is what I mean in a oil cap. Take the cap, put some in. Of course, don't dump and don't put it back because if there is any contamination, dirt, you don't want it. So, and now filter. This is the filter I'm using. M soil. This information here, it's on M soil website. So this is the filter. A quality filter has O-rings, not like the factory one right there. You see, there is no O-ring. It's all plastic, and it's that's why they're not efficient. They don't do the job they're supposed to be. So this is for Toyota and Lexus 3.5, 2.5 engines and 2.0 from like 2006 or 2007. I'm not sure when they start making 3.5s. How to install? Take the filter and just put it there like that. And that's it. Now I'm gonna put the filter back. And in reality, it doesn't really matter which side up, which side down. Dial. Put the filter housing, and let me show you what the housing looks like on the inside. Probably not many videos out there that will show you on the inside. There is not much really there. Just inspect, make sure there is no dirt, no chunks, none, none of the stuff. Those droplets of oil. I'm gonna clean it up before I install the housing. Now I'm gonna put the filter.
don't forget this cap same thing with this cap it's all aluminum you don't want to make it super tight because what's preventing it from leaking in it's that o-ring it's not how tight super tight that's it wipe it clean so make sure there is no trace of oil now I'm gonna put the plug back surface now I'm taking the bolt with a new washer on it I'm sure if you can see or not put it back same thing don't over torque it because you don't want to break it break the threads And to be on the safe side, I'm not even using the long uh, uh, ratchet. I'm using a shorter one so I can have better feel for it. How much? How tight do I want to make it? So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna let's go up. Let's go up. Put the oil in. Oh, before I put the oil in, let me show you all these details. So that's a well filter housing. That's the bolt, drain bolt. That's the oil pan. And this is this is there is a point that you can jack it up the whole front end, same thing with the rear, and I put some dry ramps you can start driving on I just started to lift it up that was easier for me so the hard part is done now I'm gonna put five quarts of oil first measure the dipstick add the six because the owner's manual calls it out for six and a half check your owner's manual make sure it is the right number of quarts I'm using this extension so I don't spill you can use the funnel what whatever works for you I have put in six quarts. It shows the level is a little bit above the middle, but because my car front end is eight inches up from the ground, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the engine, let it run a couple minutes, two, three minutes, check, make sure there is no oil leaking from underneath for the filter housing, uh, drain plug. Then I'm gonna lower the car to its normal position, uh, recheck the oil again, then settles down and see if I need to add half a quarts like it says six and a half quarts or not. Engine is running as you guys can, can hear it and I'm checking now make sure there is no oil leaking from anywhere underneath the vehicle from oil filter housing. I don't see anything dripping, any anything wet. Same thing from the drain plug. It looks clean to me, so now I'm gonna lower the vehicle and recheck the oil. So after running uh, engine, I checked the oil. I couldn't tell the difference how much is there because oil was so clean, and so I decided to wait it overnight and check the oil again. And this is where I'm getting my reading after adding only six quarts of oil only and this is what it actually the level is not sure if you guys can see or not but the level is according to the dipstick well at least was at the full level at the highest mark when i uh when i checked first time so but the menu calls out a 6.4 quarts so i'm not sure how you're gonna get 6.4 quarts if it's already full with the six quarts. So I think that's just uh, either the dipstick is in, is 
right there. Not sure if you guys can see it or not, but top mark and there is light over 10, so it's full. So basically at the top mark, six quarts is, it shows that it's full. And down in my descriptions, there will be a link to the website where you can buy the M soil oil filter, all kind of products they have on their website. Uh, sign up as a preferred customer, you'll get a discount. Don't forget there will be my dealer's number down below the description too. You're gonna you'll be asked for it. And six months, like I mentioned earlier, uh, six months cost or the price as preferred customer is not high anyone can afford it and it's worth because i just made my own uh purchase for both my vehicles from oil filters to air filters uh oils cabin filters everything for one spot so everything came in i don't have to drive around to different stores or 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 a store to pick up everything so don't forget to subscribe enjoy and thank you for watching